Who Hello? wants to listen to audio on a podcast? Audio. Check. Ha. Check. Audio on a podcast. Two bits. No, sir. Huh? How do you? How do you? How do you do? I do. I do. I now pronounce you husband and wife. Do I have AirPods? Yeah. Like the. They got remarried? Again? Like earbuds. Every day they reconfirm their vows to each other. I have. I have. I have. Um iPhone earbuds. <laughs> okay. I might run downstairs and get those. It should be in my backpack. <laughs> in like the front. I don't know if us. Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to reaffirm the vows of one AC race best and one toodles. Just one? Is there more than do you one? you want more? How many do you have? All of... Oh. One? But the problem that we are running Wait, into... Wait, is toodles plural? Yeah. Does that mean there's there's more than one Sarah? Mm-hmm. How do you think she gets so much done? This blows my mind. There's like three that we keep locked up in the house. What? <laughs> well, I only married one of them. Which one was that? You married one? <laughs> to you, yes. Oh. That was the one we let out of the house. That's a good one. I like that one. Yeah. The problem is we are we are missing one ring on the audio device. Therefore, this 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 proceeding cannot continue. You're marrying the audio device. Well, I mean, if we don't have a ring, did you succeed? What, what's the point? Here's getting her ear whacked all over my nice ear, but I was gonna take off. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, share and share alike. Oh, wait, 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 wait! You're doing what? Can't I take these off and put on mine? They're removable, my boy. You're so weird, Sarah. Well, the fine, more... then I'll get my earwax on yours. Ew! No! Do like... <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, I can hear everybody so loud. You're married, it's okay. You know what? Bring bring on the, the Sarah that we let outside. <laughs> Sarah has no idea. I don't know, I'd like to hear from the Sarah that doesn't get let outside. <laughs> Alright, Sarah? Yes. <laughs> what is it like being locked in this house all day? Uh, I get cooped up, I guess. Yeah. I'm, I, I'm not in on this bit because I was gone for is, a is, second. It, I don't know what's happening. Is it nice to have a break from both of them? Both Jeffries? <laughs> There's more than one Jeffrey? <laughs> <laughs> Who was at the wedding? I demand proof. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> the people must know. Change it to the screen here. Uh, I don't know if we have anybody else joining us. I haven't heard word from Saber. We don't need any more. There's at least five of you there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, five of us. Who's here? I am. I'm Paleo. Hello, folks, and welcome to the Semi Perfect Podcast. Yeah. It is a Wednesday. It is February. Yes. Happy Valentine's Month. Yeah. Weird. Can't wait to see Happy you all complain. Happy Groundhog. Even Shit. those that are in a relationship that are like, oh, Valentine's Day. <laughs> that has to be the number one most complained about holiday. Yeah. Complained about by the ones that aren't in a relationship, and then complained about what, by the ones that are in a relationship, because now they have to do something with it. Yeah. <laughs> I think everyone's like, Valentine's Day, what the hell? Um, Sarah and I like to celebrate pre-Valentine's Day. Sometimes hey, pre-Valentine's Day. Pre-game it. Yeah. Um, Sarah? Yeah. Hello. Oh, Welcome. I haven't even tweeted that we're live. Oh my god. Oh my god. Also, why is Valentine's Day, like, it's always on the 14th, yet, like, Mother's Day and Father's Day are, like, always on a Sunday. Like, yeah. why, don't, why don't they do that with Valentine's Day? Mm. Mm. So you, you can challenge your person's commitment if it lands on, like, a Monday where they're like, oh, I have to stay late for a work meeting. <laughs> And it's like, <laughs> but it's Valentine's Day. <laughs> oh. Let's see here. All right. Oh. Tweet. Quotes, tweets. We are lonely. We are lonely. Uh, it, it dates back to the 8th century 
Galassian Sacramentary. Um, they the recorded the celebration. Yeah, thank uh -huh. you. They recorded the celebration of the Feast of St. Valentine on February 14th. And because it occurred on that day, that is the reason that day became associated with romantic love in the oh. 14th and 15th centuries. I mean, Christmas is always on the 25th. Thanksgiving's no, nice always on. Jack's, Jack's played special video. Oh, yeah. So what are you doing? It's, they're falling out of my ears. Are you replacing the things? Yeah. I worry that when you do that, though, it's going to loosen them and they're easier to fall off. All right, fine. So apparently in Italy, St. Valentine's keys are given to lovers as a romantic symbol and an invitation to unlock the giver's Dude. heart. <laughs> as well as to children to ward off epilepsy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. Which apparently was also known as St. Valentine's malady. Interesting. See, now we're learning everything here. Uh, so welcome in. We have with us today Panama Matt. I can read Wikipedia. We have Paleo Steno. Hello. We have Toodles. Hi, I'm here early. And we have <laughs> me. And, um, and yeah, we, uh, it's, yeah, we're, we're now officially a month into the year. So, yeah. you know, we don't have to act surprised that it's 2023 yeah. anymore. It um, is. I know. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, we, uh. Did you end up making a topic list here today? Uh, it's very short. She did. Up there. It's very short? It's very short. Are you considered short? Yeah, there is a big one, which I, I think me and Ray can talk about a lot. Yeah. Oh. Yes. But yeah. We could talk about Shall stuff. we jump into food posts? Let's do it. Uh, we want to see everyone's food posts. Those of our live viewers going to submit their food posts, interact with us here like we like to interact with our audience. On the Semi Perfect Podcast. So, if you haven't already sent it in, hashtag SPP Foods on Twitter. Sarah, yeah. what is up first? All right, one second. Let me pull up that screen. The screen. The, 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 the screen. Screen, 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 screen. Twitter. Elwin is our first food post of the day. More baby care and hot sauce for this. <laughs> with for this week's but it's supposed to be baby carrots not baby care baby care baby more care. baby care with smoky bourbon hot sauce smolder and smoke very interesting i just don't are you dipping the carrots in the hot, hot sauce? sauce yeah look there's a whole thing of hot sauce right there i know i see it i'm just like yeah i'm just so yeah. confused yeah they, carrots is, is and that, hot is that sauce. a wisconsin thing see sarah sarah's missed a lot of uh it might be paleo, but Sarah's missed a lot of food posts because yeah. she oftentimes isn't here for food posts. So yeah. she's like, what is What's happening? happening? Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Well, what else do we have? We have. Ooh, Nathaniel says, made myself a ganache. Gnocchi. <laughs> Gna Gnocchi. Ganache bake from a every plate kit. Which, from the looks of it, definitely feels like a different way to make a lasagna-style dish with the tomato sauce, Italian sausage, and mozzarella cheese. So it came out really, or pretty tasty. I so, like it. I love it. Nice. And I, I agree. Tomato sauce, Italian sausage, and mozzarella cheese can make anything taste good. Almost anything taste good. Yeah. What about me? I've never tasted you. <laughs> So I might, already, product, I right? might already taste good. That is nice. Mm -hmm. Look at that. That is ooh. beautiful. Ooh. Gnocchi. Ooh. Gnocchi. Gnocchi. <laughs> Gnocchi. Now we got Jory. Hey, guys. Thought I would like to share something that I did at a place called The Melting Pot while visiting my dad and family in Texas this past <coughs> week. We also went to the Royal Rumble that took place in San Antonio. Okay, I need, Fondue. See, I need to see a big version of this the video? video. Okay. Is that a waffle? With I think it's chocolate. I think it's pot. I think that's a waffle piece with chocolate, and then there's like a savory thing in there. Oh boy. Yeah. Chocolate fondue. Oh, it looks like a melted cheese. I better pedal faster. Nachos. I wonder if fondue parties will be making a comeback in the uh, coming years. Fondue. It is. Is it? Yeah. What was the last I, fondue party you were at? Well, sorry. You said fondue party. I thought you meant just fondue in general. 
No, yeah. Because, like, I was going to say, Red Robin has cheese fondue. Do they really? They do. Ooh. It's a cheese sauce. Yeah. Oh, yes. It just comes in a bowl. It's not like a, it doesn't, it's not like the melting pot where you got to heating With the element. sticks and the, the yeah. yeah, no. Thank you for Sad. sharing, Jory. Very nice. Very good. Looks Very good. good. Very good. Also, yes, Royal Rumble looks good, too. Yes. <laughs> we got Christina with teriyaki chicken. Uh, it's a cherry teriyaki, teriyaki chicken type of night, is what she says. <laughs> I could not read. Teriyaki kind of night. Teriyaki kind of night. Christina had teriyaki on this kind of night. She feels like chicken tonight. <laughs> okay. What the heck? Mr. Someone says, I'm not having any fancy right now. But my pup is having some nice salmon and rice dog kibble softened down to a good texture for his old teeth with some good old H2O. Oh, now that's a good boy right, right there. Let's see. Let's see this. Let's see this food post. Oh, yeah. Classic. <laughs> good doggy. Good doggy. Old doggy. Yeah. With old teeth. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. Nora. Nora Mermaid says, Sup, send my perfect pod. Just recovering from the cold my dad gave me with some chicken and rice. Oh, and if you have a dog, clean up after it. Uh, love you and miss you guys and drink your water, you thirsty fishes. So she she was given a cold with chicken and rice? Uh, no, she was given a cold from her dad, and she's eating chicken and rice to make her feel better. I wonder if she know, knew that someone had posted their food post before she posted hers. Yeah. Well, it came right after a picture with a dog in it. Oh, the pickup after your dog. Yeah, if you have a dog, clean up after it. Or if it's completely unrelated. <laughs> Jeffrey and I just kind of looked at each other like, we what were is staring. Matt? What is Matt? We Matt were... is a, on a special role. Oh, I, I, yeah. We no, were staring I... deep into each other's souls trying to figure out if either one had the answer <laughs> to whatever the hell Panama Matt is. Yeah. We don't. All right. Anime guy says, got you some Luminati's deep dish pizza. Best deep dish pizza. If you disagree, you're wrong. The, uh... The best. I don't know. It'll have to go pretty far to beat the place that we have not far from here. Mm. Or that I have not far from here. Have you been to Chicago, Matt? No, and I don't need to. I have the best pizza right here. Mm. Little Caesars? <laughs> Hot and ready, five <laughs> bucks. <laughs> <laughs> what What is the best pizza in your opinion uh, as far as chicago style goes there's a place over here a little ways away called tony's little italy and i've known people that have been to chicago tried chicago style deep dish in chicago and then they come here and say this is so much better i love this stuff hmm. i would i would have to try this at some point yeah because you are yeah you are a uh, an it, authority on it it is deep dish right You're saying, yes okay like takes forty five minutes to cook deep dish. Right. Okay. Raise, I mean, that... raise measure it, and then the next time we're in Chicago, <laughs> measure Illuminati's. Yeah, I'm. I don't know, man. That's that's a those are fighting words there, Matt. Those are some flames. <laughs> like that is that. I mean, you realize that you have just declared that this is the like greatest deep dish on earth. Like that means I go in, I have. Only to be disappointed by this pizza. <laughs> I'm either it either meets my expectation or I'm disappointed by it. Yeah. So, all I'll right. take that chance. I think we have some more people that have joined us. By the way, oh. hello. Hey. Yes, we hello. do. Hello. It's Laura and Saber. Hey. Hey. Yeah, all right. Yes. Very. Howdy, howdy. How are you you caught good. us in the middle of the food posts. Yeah, we're 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 going through food. Postage right now. Yeah. You uh, say you caught us in the middle of food posts, but that gives me absolutely no reference for at what point in the podcast we actually are. <laughs> um, we're on the middle portion of the food posts. So it's like, are we? We still have about twenty minutes. Are we just getting started? Are we just getting started? I don't know. It's still food posts. It's true. That's how we like it here. <laughs> Keep everyone all on food posts all the time. <laughs> this is we'll just call it the SPP. The super. Wait, there's no F here. No. <laughs> P H O O D. Food there you post. go. Food. Super food post. 
Superfood podcast, but not superfoods. <laughs> we got Rider Storm <laughs> Pen Key. <laughs> Thank you, Sarah. That was pizza awesome. <laughs> with pizza and Kickstart Mandu. Kickstart Mandu! <laughs> Kickstart Mandu! Streaming on Twitch with my friend Foxblood. But Kickstart Fan Mandu. Very nice. <laughs> Man, do that was supposed to be a T. Well, what am I saying? But it Man said it's, it, it was supposed to be MTN for Mountain Dew, but it came um, out M A N, and it is now Kickstart Man Dew. I don't know if I want to try Man Dew. Man Dew, <laughs> Man I Man I just is that is, that sounds like a I don't know like some prophetic individual like oh my god, it's the legend it's of Mandu. Kickstart Man <laughs> Oh, gosh. Uh, Princess Deadpool says, totally forgot there was a podcast tonight until I saw the notification. Making a burger and fries in my own kitchen tonight and playing some Power Wash Simulator on PS5. Sweet. Ooh. Hell yeah. Getting that satisfaction of a job well done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Very, very nice. Oh, we got more pizza. Omega. Actually, I have about the same thing as two weeks ago, LOL. I was sent a picture of the pizza I'll be having uh, after I get off work in a few hours. Nice. Oh, Rory. Nice. Oh, we got, uh, looks like ham, pepperoni, mm. cheese. Back, back to the olive debate. Olives, uh, some sort of uh, pepperoncinis, maybe? Could be. Know. Yeah. You, I, can I you think make it I bigger? see mushrooms as well. Make it bigger. Okay. Make it bigger and zoom in on that dish. Uh, and that dish, I meant. Wait, hold on. Let me open a new tab. Zoom. Enhance. Wait, 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 wait. No, I could do it. I could do it uh, bigger. Do it bigger. Oh, yeah, bigger. Yeah. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> okay. Enhance. Bigger! <laughs> All right, I'm done. All right. Yeah, that's definitely mushrooms on there. Okay. I don't know, Omega. <laughs> your taste in pizza has me concerned. <laughs> I'm very, I'm very, well, I'm pretty basic when it comes to pizza. Yeah. I don't like veggies on my pizza. So. Only like, fruit for you with the tomato. Only, <laughs> only fruit for me. Okay, I was very curious for a second until I realized there was a figurine in one yeah. of these pictures. Speaking. Of fruit. <laughs> I <Speaking> of <laughs> <laughs> Sarah, say it louder for the people in the back. Speaking of fruit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. Princess Deadpool had an add-on with the finished products. Oh yeah, there's add-ons, all right. <laughs> yep. And and a figurine. A figurine. Very nice. Very nice. Let's all right. See. Was that we, all the food posts? Do we... How many more? Let me refresh. I want the refresh. Uh, I want. I love all the new tab things that you have in your tabs. Yeah, I saved all the new tabs. <laughs> I don't what? Know. I don't know how I managed to do that, but just in I case you think... need to open a new tab. Okay, I think we got them all. All right. Hooray! No doubt, someone's gonna say you missed mine. Well, you tagged it wrong. Ooh, Sarah's fighting words. I like how there's. We didn't miss it. Just didn't care. All right. All right. Oh, oh uh, Omega, Omega did say. Chat. I had to get that post first. Hi, folks. Hello. Hello. Omega 13. Um, yeah. Galaxy Quest. Yes, indeed. Let's uh, let's catch up with people. Yeah. What do you say? Paleo, what's new with you? Um, Not too much. I mean, I've been working on videos and streaming and stuff. Uh, I've also been working for Jordan Fringe. Uh, uh, he's been giving me more work to do, um, because he's doing more stuff on his gaming channel this, this year. Uh, you'll have to wait to see what it is, but one of them I'm very excited about, uh, because when he told me, like, what, what to capture, I was like, ooh, I'm very excited about that one. Nice. Um, but then, uh, I had a video blow up, like, last week. Literally? Um, Sounds dangerous. Yeah, blew up. That's dangerous. Blew up the site. You can't use YouTube anymore. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was my ranking video of the 2022 animated films, uh, and it's still doing well. It's like been doing well like every day. Um, so I've Good been for like, you, man. That's awesome. Yeah. yeah. So I've been working on the next video in that series because like I was already planning on making that a series of videos. So it's nice but to that... see that the first one went and did well. 
gives you that encouragement to get to the next one. Yeah. Yeah. Heck yeah. Which I should have the next one out by like Monday or Tuesday, I think. Depending on how fast I can do it. Keep but it up, also, dude. thanks. But also, uh, this weekend I'm going to something really cool. Um, have you heard of the uh, Jurassic World live show? No. No. Oh. Yeah, it's a um, it's a show where they have like animatronics and stuff, and they like put put on like a a, a stage show. It's really oh. cool. Is it a musical? Oh. oh my god. No. I went to the Walking with Dinosaurs. World. Is it like the Walking with Dinosaurs show that they had like a while? Yeah, back? yeah, uh, okay. yeah. That's one of my biggest regrets is never going to see the Walking with Dinosaurs live show. It was pretty um, cool. I've so, seen it yeah. in three D. Uh -huh. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not that one. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. But yeah, the, they're they're coming to Greensboro, so I'm gonna uh, me and me and my dad reserve tickets, and they weren't even that much. They were like forty bucks. So I'm like, oh, yeah, Sweet. we can go to that. Yeah. yeah. What about uh, what about Panama Matt? What's new with you? I have no idea. You have no idea. <laughs> it has. Somehow it's Wednesday. I've been busy. Yes, Work's you been have. good. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Nice. Good talk. <laughs> well, we're like I, like I told you when I got in, I, I spent the majority of this afternoon working on a case, on just one case. Right. And I'm, you know that feeling when your brain just slips out of gear, yep. but you're still on the gas? Yup. Engine's revving right now, and it's fun. So I actually know about this, but I'll get into how I already know about this in a little bit, okay? Okay. Yeah. Okay. You should be concerned. <laughs> I'm, I'm intrigued. In, intrigued, you should be. What about uh, Lauren Saber? What's new with you guys? Oh, man, I'm tired. I'm traveling a lot. Oh. Yeah. I had some time off of travel, which is nice, but uh, <sighs> Saber went to go visit his family for like a week. Good. Yeah. Went to go see my fam. And then, uh, I don't know what the fuck going up to the Northeast weeks before. Yeah, so we did Christmas with my family. Well, I was all super friends of the boss and stuff. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think I mentioned in the last podcast. I think you did. Um, yeah, I've like been running up and down the East Coast from as far as Boston and then all those ways down to Orlando. Nice. Um, and then we went to uh, Northern Virginia to see some of our friends. Yeah. For nice. our little Christmas get-together. It's always in, like, mid to late January. So Nice. <laughs> yeah. And awesome. Tom, you know, he's back home now, and and I think today was my first real day of being like, okay, like new chapter, <laughs> like uh, now it feels like it's a bit more focused, yeah, and, and it's a bit surreal. Um, doing a lot of storage unit stuff, running back and forth, just moving stuff around. Um, we're almost done. Nice. And trying to get project moving again, and yeah. I guess, uh, I'm trying to think if there's anything else way to it. That's, mm. that's about it for me. Well, here's to the next chapter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And while Steven was visiting his family, I was at home yeah. doing nothing. <laughs> it was pretty <laughs> nice. Ah. Every once in a while, that's great. It, honestly, it was very, very, like, long needed because I was so drained from traveling. Yeah. Like, yeah. it was nice to just have, like, two weeks in a row where I'm like, oh my god. I don't have to be anywhere other than, like, my own house. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm just sitting here. I mean, I feel that, like... Lovely. Like, uh, as far as, like, weekends go, where it's, like, during the off-season, it's like, oh, whoa. I don't have to be somewhere. At the racetrack, yeah. You know, this happens, like, there's probably a collective five weekends where I'm not doing something. Yeah. Oh my god, and it, it's my guy. Yeah. And it, but it's funny because, like, after the first one, I'm like, okay... Where's the next racetrack? <laughs> <laughs> I should be somewhere. This sounds, but you know, I've I've grown up. That's been my life. So, yeah. um, yeah. Anything else with you guys? Uh, not too much, I don't think. Nothing comes to mind. Well, Sarah, do you want to go first? Uh, oh sure. Uh, I got laid off. <laughs> oh, I no. oh no! Yeah, it I'm so sorry. Tuesday. Uh. Yeah, so this was, like, the first, like, full day of me, like, not, you know, going into work, and I'm like, shit. <laughs> so sorry, Sarah. Yeah. 
it's unfortunate, but I've, you know, a lot of my coworkers that managed to not get laid off, they were like, hey, we're calling like our friends, you know, don't worry about it. We'll, we'll find you something. And I'm like, thanks. <laughs> so yeah, they, so they, they cut me and one other girl off of the, the girl brand team. And I, I think they did a lot of more layoffs than what I was witnessing, but yeah. You were the first the one. That, the one that matters is. Uh... They, they were like, they were like, we don't want you to see the blood. Okay, sure. <laughs> you go first. Yeah. I'm so sorry, Sarah. That's terrible. That's why I'm here at the podcast early today. <laughs> that is. That is why. Yeah. It, it, uh, well, it, it happens. Uh, I'll I'll recover. You will. Um, yeah. No, that's the biggest thing I think. We well, we went to San Diego this past weekend too. Um, to, for celebra- celebrating a couple of birthdays among Jeffrey's family. Yeah, yeah, celebrating um, my sister's birthday and my soon to be, soon to be as in like, in eight months brother in law. Yeah. Birthday. Yeah. So. Yeah, yeah. We got to watch a uh, Disney cruise take off, and it went. Do, 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 do. <laughs> do that. I'm hoping somebody just clips that. <laughs> Every time the podcast starts, do, 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 oh do, do. <laughs> as the screen just slowly pans out of your cutie mark. <laughs> this, this is your low. This is your low budget Disney movie. When when they pull Sarah into the office and they're like, "We have bad news." Sarah goes. <laughs> No, it was fun, and we saw the uh, the old the the convention center for Pacific PonyCon, the the hotel. Yeah, we yeah. we took so a picture in front. It's hilarious because there's a restaurant that you'll see in those Pacific PonyCon vlogs that we ate at, um, called Miguel's, and they would give us free queso. Mm-hmm. A Mexican. Was restaurant. that next to Tulio's? Uh, is this a trick question? I I don't I don't know. He only watches Disney films. Oh, is it... what's happening right now? <laughs> it's a ref- uh, no, it was a reference to the Road to El Dorado. Yeah, yeah. Sarah, where were you? We just watched that movie. <laughs> yeah, <I know. laughs> we watched that movie like like two weeks ago. Too busy watching the big swivel. Yeah, there's only one character <laughs> in that movie. Yeah. <laughs> uh, he was giving up dick in that movie. Oh man, Whew. they were they're straight up banging in that movie. Yeah, she was yeah. Long. They were. I don't know what they were doing, oh, but yeah. they were they were doing she, something. She mm-hmm. What makes you say that? Her head was next. There's a lot of things could be happening. She's looking for his hidden treasure. <laughs> the, the real goal. They could have been putting any <laughs> number of things in any number of holes. They were off camera. <laughs> I like where this is going. Let's keep analyzing this or analyzing if it. Is. Yeah. Um, sorry. This real fast. Just um, put it up and say all them. I want to talk to y'all about the Balto trilogy. All right. I don't okay. like that that made you think of the Balto trilogy. I was thinking about below jobs and I thought Balto. Oh. Uh, well, I, I feel like as I, you do. Of, of course, of course. Of course. All you right. Do. Well, this has been the next, last episode of the Semi Perfect Podcast. Uh. You know, there's uh, one it's character. Just story, but you, I, I, it's how it goes. Because you're like, how's your week? I'm like, I didn't do anything. I sat in the room dark. But then, like, no, I watch Balto. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, don't pay yeah, attention to me yeah, again. I watch Balto. Uh, so, sorry, what did you think? We'll we'll circle back to that like immediately because I need, we need to have this conversation. Um, any anything else, Sarah? Uh, we went to San Diego. Is that wrap it up? We drove past. The oh, Jurassic oh! I never finished my point about Miguel's. Yeah. Um, they oh, yeah, there's yeah, a new Jurassic. there's a new Miguel's across the street from Pacific Pony Cons yeah. old Ooh. hotel. And I'm like, oh, if that was if that was the case, the weekend of so. Pacific PonyCon, we would have been in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, uh, down there in San Diego, they got a Jurassic World exhibit, uh, and I was like, oh, that's where it is. Maybe we'll have to come back sometime. Oh yeah, that's not like the traveling exhibit they have. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't San Diego the city the T Rex got out in one of those movies? Yep, that was in the Lost World. Yeah, that makes that makes sense why the exhibit was there. <laughs> Dang it! Um, so as for me, 
Yeah. Um, you know, on top of the stuff that Sarah mentioned, I I I think I have one big update, and that is uh, it's it's actually related to Panama Matt, and I'm scared. I well, Sarah's looking at me like she doesn't know, but you know about this. Um, I know you know. So, so yesterday, uh, Matt realizing that his schedule was rather booked, ha- tapped me on as his fill-in uh, lawyer. Yeah. And he's having he's having me do a case for a guy who is being convicted of murder. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sounds legit. And and I was sitting there in the courtroom at one point thinking to myself like, you know, this this all makes perfect sense. Yeah. And I'm like, man. But then then as like, you know, I'm like, I'm going to have to kind of mimic off of what the first group does because I really don't know how to lawyer, you know, like that well. So, but then, Spoiler alert, that's what we all do. So then as they started, though, Sarah's like, hey, I need to head back to the house. And I'm like, oh, my God. So we both get on our bikes and go back to the house. And then I'm like, I have to quickly get back because it's going to be like my turn to be the lawyer. And, and I, I get back in time. And I think that was all i remember from my dream last night (laughs) but i was like i was like matt i'm honored that you would choose me i was about to question the bikes but then i wanted to see how it played out (laughs) (laughs) i was in my suit and all that um ac race best i choose you i just i was was, for some reason i knew that you weren't going to be around on friday and and so you needed me to do the lawyering (laughs) for like the rest of like this was a very vivid dream too like i remember like seeing the guy and and the whole time i'm like oh the guy has a family this is gonna be an easy case to win i'm gonna just play on the heartstrings (laughs) of the jury and be like but he has kids it's it's, you can't put him in jail (laughs) and then i woke up and i'm like i had no argument to save this guy yeah i mean sometimes we don't so so yeah um by the way, Anime Guy says, uh, send a super chat saying, Race, you need to play Ace Attorney to understand how to be a true lawyer. Oh, this you is correct. Do that with Matt. We, this is correct. Yeah, we we are working towards that. I still don't know when that's gonna like get going. We're we're trying to work figure out the audio as far as when three people are on the set um, as opposed to two. Oh yeah. We're not that smart, so yeah. we're gonna you guys like the the clip on mics. Yeah, the lapel mics. We have those. Um, we had a third, but the thing is that the third was a different brand, different like hookup uh, and all that stuff. So, didn't play nice. so they yeah. don't if they're not completely in sync. So yeah, at this point you we get an echo. We have yeah. the same exact mic and hookup mm-hmm. now for for Matt. Next time we yeah. potentially have him over. Do you think try. we have to just start over? I don't know. We might because it might <laughs> was be- it that bad? I I have to look back. We did record some episodes. I have to look back at it and just see how shitty. To be it was. fair, I think we did this like four months ago, and I yeah. already forget like yeah. everything. Yeah. So, because I don't think we, I, I, I think we barely like we're getting through the first case. Yeah. And Sarah's like, "Oh, we're just getting started." Yeah, so, we're just yeah. getting started. Um, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, anyways, that was I, I had this dream last night, and then Sarah mentioned at lunch that she had spoken with Panama Matt, and I was like, oh, I need to tell Matt about my dream. Yeah. I was I like- I need to tell Matt that I didn't get back to the courtroom. You know, it's it's like that, it's like that, you know, if you ever had those dreams where you like, you go into a test and you're like, fuck, I, I didn't study for this. Like, mm-hmm. I'm gonna fail. It's a recurring nightmare for me, are you kidding? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah. And I like this, but this was a weird case where I was like, hmm, I'm, I'm a lawyer. I, someone's life is on the line. And I have to pretend like I know what I'm doing. Like the, I didn't even know the procedures. I didn't know when I was allowed to talk. But yeah. then I left on my bike in the middle of the case, <laughs> and like right at the beginning. So, yeah, uh, that's uh, that's it from for I think the uh, updates, which I think means we're gonna circle back to Balto and yeah. blowjobs. Oh yeah. no! All right, I'll make this quick. So. <laughs> Video, that, uh, that's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me tell you about Balto three in a second. We'll we'll thread this needle. Oh yeah. So, so Balto. That's what she said. 
<laughs> We're also, keep going. Um, it's definitely one of those like films. I think I like it's one of those movies that kind of falls in that ballpark of like, oh yeah, I remember that. Like we all remember Aladdin, we all remember Little Mermaid, but there's always that one movie that's like not mainstream, but like kind of no. Really, you think Balto falls into that? Yes, I think yeah. Balto falls into that. I think Balto is like very well known. I think known, there's a caliber but... of film mm. that kind of quantifies like that category of okay. like you're not like a big heavy hitter of a Disney film, but it's a well enough made animated film that enough people know about. Kind of like Thirty Eight Special. Uh, what was that? Carry on. <laughs> You're up to your fourth or fifth quip, so you got like three more and you're done. <laughs> I will never stop. <laughs> you give, give me your badge and your gun. <laughs> right, so, badges? Um, we don't need no stinking badges. Okay, that's number four. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm like, oh yeah, Ball Tower Trilogy. I remember the oh. first one. I watched it when I was a kid. I remember liking it a lot. I remember Steel, most of all, the villain dog, and how he's like, he's scary. You know? right? like, he's like always swiveling his shoulders and dripping and licking. It's like, his shoulders are their own like rig of an animation. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, so scary. Like, it's like Jello just completely shifting around and all the tap at once. It just doesn't stop jiggling. And it's like uh, Jim Cumming voiced him, so it's of course. And um, I watched Balto recently. So I'm like, oh, I haven't, I haven't watched it in a while. I watched it. I'm like, it's a really pretty film. It's yeah. a very good looking movie. Oh, yeah. And the story's heartfelt. Also, it's great. Oh, yeah. the music. Oh. James Harden. Mm. Yep. Um, so, it, it is a very good movie. I'm like, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to watch the trilogy. It was a goddamn trilogy. <laughs> that was After mistake. watching Alpha and Omega, I'm like, okay, well, Balto's kind of a little blip on the radar as far as it being <laughs> similar. Um, you know, just so happens to be canine, but also there's, it's like, Again, Alpha and Omega kind of fills that, like, or hits that checkbox, too, where it's, like, the kind of a known, like, not as big as Disney, but, like, you know, straight to video kind of stuff. And uh, then sequels and sequels and sequels. So I watched um, Balto 1. thought it was very good. I'm like, this is a good movie. The third act's a little bit weak. I think it gets a little bit too action-y, but, you know, whatever. It's a kid's film, so who cares? But uh, <laughs> I say that where I'm like, my job! <laughs> no, but... Um, I'm like, okay, I've never seen the sequels. So I watched the second, and it is one of the most fan y things I've ever fucking seen in my life. It is 100%. Yeah. <laughs> you should talk to Hero about it, because he's seen all three as well. Well, I haven't seen the third one. I So the second one, when I was, whatever year that movie came out, however old I was, mm -hmm. fucking love that movie. Of course. Because yeah. it was my fucking fan fiction. <laughs> it, 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 is, it is straight up fan fiction yeah. schlock. Where it's like, Dad, I. I'm your daughter, daughter of Balto. Um, yep. And uh, I was laughing so hard how, like, in the movie, it's like, of course, after the series, the events of Balto. Yeah. And you've got, like, Balto and Jenna having pups. And Balto, after saving this town, still sleeps on the goddamn broken <laughs> boat outside yes, he of does. town with a ripped up blanket. I'm like, it is Jewish. You're good enough for a statue, friend. but we ain't giving you a friend. blanket. <laughs> <laughs> so, and it's like him and Jenna had puppies, and it's like, wait, are you all together or not? Like, just he, was, he was late to his own kid's birth, and it's like, dude, <laughs> how did he forget that? And like, when he showed up, the kids were already born. Jenna's like, oh, hey, Walto, and it's like, what are, what, what are you all? Are you all? Husband and wife? Are you just hooking up on the side? What is happening? Um, she was just using them to make babies. <laughs> she wanted to get that Walto uh, slave pulling on his he, he, He's head. raising steel. He tried really hard there. <laughs> she wanted to get her foot. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever. Um, I digress. So, uh, yeah, Balto has his wolf daughter. Because there's, there's, there's an entire litter of puppies. And, of course, there's one that looks even more wolf than Balto because genetics, you know? Yeah, you know. And... And also, like, they're, they're, what gets me so upset is that there's actual, like, there's some little nuggets of storytelling here that could have worked. Where they're trying to expand, like, this almost, like, spiritualism of, like, almost like Brother Bear energy of, like, the great, you know, forest and snow and animals with, with like... And, like, Balthus' mom and shit? I, that's bullshit. I don't think... I Balthus love it. Mom. I don't think <laughs> they're trying to, like... Terrible, I love and it. And Balto, when that wolf shows up who howls, and Balto's like, I'm a wolf too, how? 
And then the second one, they're like, what if that was Balto's mom? It's Balto's mom. <laughs> it's like, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, Booby. Um, oh, wait, they like, actually I'm... do that in the second one? I forgot. Yes, they do. Yes. Oh. Like, and you've got, like, all these other animals on totem pole, which is very poorly 3D animated. And it's, oh, like, I hate the 3D animation. It's like the Wolverine, the the other, you know, the, the fox or whatever. There's a fox girl yeah. who... Balto actually meets in the wild, and I swear to you, she rubs her head up right up against his nuts. Like, like there's no mistaking how she wanted that Balto boy. Like, oh. <laughs> Alright, so, um, long story short, it's fanfic. It is fanfic yeah. as fuck. You know what the real mistake was? What? Is that you brought this movie up, and now I want to watch it again. Yeah. Yeah, I do. I'm pretty sure yeah. I have it on DVD somewhere. <laughs> So, you know what the real mistake is? That we don't actually have more animated fanfic. Like, imagine some of that right? stuff out there actually put to a movie. Yeah. Oh, give me it. Watch out for the Omega. I'm excited was because it? I think I know what's coming with yeah. the third movie. What? Give me a yeah, movie. The, the duck boobs. Yep. Duck yeah. boobs. Yeah. Woo! Duck boobs. <laughs> Woo! All right, so yeah, so, um... Second film's all fanfic. Third film is like, okay, let's go back to the entire, like, I guess, um, let's play it safe. Let's go back to the sleigh dog. Because, you know, let's be forget that Balto did that. And that was actually based on the thing that happened. <laughs> yeah. Uh, which, by the way, fun fact, there's a really sad back story to what actually happened in real life. Um, so, third film goes back, back to basics with the sleigh dogs. And for whatever reason, this film decided to get super horny, where the duck character, the goose, the goose. who's in the, the first Jewish film, the film, yes, uh, there's a, now a girl goose in the third movie, and she is, her sex-like appeal, they dial up to 10. And, and they're like, let's give her the most horny energy of all time. Oh, no! <laughs> the yep. character, which is like, oh, little boy, there's a couple of uh, ducks doing down here. She, 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 like, That's flew, hilarious. She flew in. It's like, dude, I think. Oh, she, oh yeah. Like, I, 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 I think Hero has posted this one before. Posted what? Hero, did you just join in? This this goose. See? I know. I've definitely posted this goose on Twitter, being like, "What in the hell?" <laughs> you just think she's very well animated. I, I actually a little bit. Someone surprised. was very horny for that goose in the animation studio. <laughs> it, it reminds me of that Mockman tattoo, Sarah. She, oh. She's constantly like swiveling everything, and it's very, very accentuated with her, with her body movement. I heard Mothman tattoo. Yeah, hold on, I'll pull it up for you. Yeah, I also I have mean, a Mothman. Sh- do you want to show this to the podcast too, or? Well, I want to see the Mothman tattoo because I too have one of those. Yeah. Oh, do you? Sexy Mothman? No. Well, I mean, he's cute, but I wouldn't say he's sexy. He's got his cute little like hands. My mothman's on my foot is not sexy, or my ankle is not sexy. Yeah, no. Sarah showed me this one today, and just looking at the image, looking at the image of this goose. Should we show everybody yeah. sexy mothman? Show sexy mothman. Okay. Because we ain't done talking about sexual yeah. duck lady. Yeah, and here's a goose. <laughs> Can I just share with everyone real fast? And uh, I, I don't care if Nora gets mad at me, but Nora just DM'd me on Twitter and said, Girl, the Mothman statue is thick. Uh, yeah. <laughs> you got an ass. Wait, what is this? You got the booty. We're, we're derailing right now, and, and I'm so curious about where we're going. Uh, <laughs> well, uh, currently, we're, currently we're on seductive cryptids. So, yeah, no, I remember watching... Sarah, you and I watched this together, didn't we? Yeah. And... I was just like, yeah, I remember just being like, what the fuck? Like, I don't remember which movie it was in, but there's like a fade cut into like Balto's ass. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, there's, there's Dog butts. In the, in the, I think it was the second film. No, it was the third film. That made me cry laughing. Where you have, um, there's two polar bears. And, which by the way, Phil Collins voiced one of them. Weird. And okay. You, you, there's, there's this. They're like jumping in the snow. So you got the one who's like all articulate, and, and you got the one who's like, fur, 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 fur. and mm-hmm. um, they like play leapfrog, and the big bear jumps on the ground, and the little bear 
they they have him run behind the big bear, but like he runs he runs behind him and he just goes out of he just disappears and they have a soup sound effect. Right there. <laughs> So it looks like he just goes right up the, the big oh my bear's God. ass. <laughs> and I'm like, who, who who, came up with this? This is terrible. Like, why do you have to go up his ass? With a, like, like, a, like a little suction cup sound. So, uh, like, like when we go to the bank, you little, like, you know, with your... Oh, the suction cup yeah, thing? Yeah. So, uh, the thing that like pulls up the so you, where you put your check. I'm obviously all over the place. Something's fast. So yeah, first of all, there's great. Second film is fanfic garbage. Third one is brain just brainless smooth brain nonsense with a horny goose and, <laughs> and yet i thought the second and third one third film all had little little nuggets of like this could have worked if you actually gave a shit but uh you didn't and so also yeah you go like i don't give a shit and i fucking love that second movie <laughs> the second film has like the, they made that wolf pack and i'm like that villain is literally just wolf steel like <laughs> verbatim like get new material Oh, I'm sorry, what, did you watch the first movie? <laughs> the, the, the fucking scene where they're like, these wolves corner Balto and his daughter. So and they're like, oh, you're in our territory. And like, that's actually their voice. That's one of them, yeah. And they're like, how do we stop it? Oh, a whale, an orca will come up, blow water out its blowhole, hit the wolves, and that defeats them. And I'm like, yeah. what? What's, what's there to be confused about? We never see the orca again. <laughs> well, so what it's you're just saying... just like the Karate Kid. What you're saying is, <laughs> so, so the main character has kids, they reincarnate... The uh, the the villain into a, a different species. It's just Avatar two. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. But it's not three hours long. <laughs> Even better. Well, that's that's where they went wrong. <laughs> uh, well, no. Thank you for bringing up Balto three. I'll articulate it better. I have a bunch of notes I want to share, but like it's. Are you still in shock? I mean, the, the broad strokes of it being with the first film is it's pretty terrific. It's not like. I think the writing isn't like brilliant, but it's 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 serviceable. While the you see how it just blows up as a fanfic and then just becomes like again just generic garbage. Though, poor Balto, where in real life, okay, so IRL Balto, yes, poor Balto. Oh well, he kind of steals all the glory. There's like another sleigh dog who is more of like the hero, and then Balto is the last leg of the race. And then they gave him all the credit. And then the sleigh dog, the owner of Balto and the sleigh dogs, this asshole sold them all to a zoo where they hooked them all up to chains to be ogle dads. <laughs> and then after Balto died, they stuffed him and shoved him in a museum. It belongs in a museum. Yeah. Man, like, I hope they do that to me. <laughs> so he, uh, you want to be at the Museum of Natural History? Oh, yeah, you know. He's a hero. <laughs> they don't have to wait for me to die to stuff me. Nothing. <laughs> uh, uh, Good night, everybody. Yeah. Uh, it's in Cleveland? What the fuck? Yeah, it's like, I don't know why for some reason. You know. Not even in Alaska. <laughs> the statue's in New York. Go fucking figure. Yep. Central Park. Yeah, that's that's how the movie starts out. Yeah, I'm like, well, I was wondering that. I'm like, why? why I think it's also how it ends. The Alaskan hero in New York. <laughs> well, that's probably why the, the the grandmother in that opening scene grandmother is like, oh, yeah, that's why she's there. Nineteen. Oh my god! In the third film, that's right. There's a goddamn plane. And what? Like, <laughs> yeah, he races it. Right? He races the plane, and I think it blows my mind. It's like Balto sees the plane. He's like, that's the future. Sled dogs are. Over and then, like, <laughs> there's a race where the sleigh dog and, and the plane had a race to deliver a mail to a town and come back to their town. And it cracks me up where I'm like making up all this bullshit. Where I'm like, what if the plane, the pilot was like really petty? Where he's like, I'll sabotage the dogs, you know? <laughs> oh my god, does that happen? No, oh, you start man. dropping grenades out of the window as you're going, <laughs> he's dropping wrenches and, and fire bombs and um. I mean, it's it's just it's all so <laughs> the community it's large like, anvil. It's like the great race where they have like the two villain guys who never bother trying to race. They're always after the the main. Oh, you mean, like wacky races. Yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dick Dastardly and Muttley. It's like maybe if you just fucking tried to drive your damn car, you might actually beat the guy. <laughs> you actually can. <laughs> uh, 
No, like I said, this is always a welcome topic on the Semi Perfect podcast. <laughs> Specifically with Balto. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh, well, Sarah, what's our next topic? Oscar nomination. Are they only on nomination side right now? I think so. Yeah. Oh. Well, I... yeah, the Oscars don't happen until March. Oh. Which is like insane. So, who's going to smack who this year? Yeah, take your bets. <laughs> um, I'm guessing Peter Jackson if... will have it out with Steven Spielberg. Oh, that'd be good. Do you mind if I start this out? Let's go. Do it. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, this is a very interesting year for the Oscars because uh, it's it's kind of historic since 16 of the actor and actress nominees are all first-time nominees. And when I looked at the list, I was like, these are all first-time nominees? Because, like, there's some, like, big actors in here that I'm like, I could have sworn they were, like, nominated at some point. But, huh. nope. Yeah, like, only four of them are, like, repeat nominees. Um, and also, all five of the uh, lead actor roles are all, like, the first-time nominees, which hasn't happened since 1934. So that's been a while. What were sure. some of the names that surprised you? 1934. Hold on. No way. Wait. So the last time that happened Ooh. might have been the year where Hitler won an Oscar for Triumph of the Will. Yep. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure. Hollywood. The yeah, sure Will got an Oscar that year. We made a mistake. <laughs> Pretty sure it was that. There, there was some Nazi propaganda where the Oscars were like, I like the cut of their jib. Let's get oh. an Oscar. <laughs> Sorry, continue. The small town crazy. creator yeah, in Germany. The small town coming artist. <laughs> uh, so far, I've seen four of the Best Picture nominees. I'm, I'm going to watch like all of them like I did uh, a few years ago. Um, or like prior years. I didn't do it last year, I don't think. I'm so far behind. Usually at this point I've seen most of them, but I have not. Yeah, so far I've seen Elvis, Everything, Everywhere, All at Once, Avatar 2, and Top Gun Maverick. I haven't seen the other ones yet. I saw The Whale. Wait. I watched The Whale. Dan, she's Wait, the, whale's, the Whale's not nominated history. for Best Picture, but like... Um, I missed, uh, I missed that part. I was about to say, oh, wait. <laughs> what category we're we talking about? Yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Brendan, Brendan uh, Fraser. Yeah, Brendan Fraser is uh, is nominated, though. Yeah, I watched... I believe that's his first time nomination, so... I will say, The Whale is, is a strange movie to be sitting in the theater with a bucket of popcorn and a big-ass soda. <laughs> Um, oh no! <laughs> yeah, it's not the kind of movie. It's not, it's probably the opposite of a popcorn movie, because it yeah. literally I was like I I just don't want to eat like anything, right? Now. And, and it's been you know like it's not me trying to make a, a negative comment on the guy's appearance. It, it's just it's just like you know, oh god, if I eat too much popcorn, I too can it's just that it's integral to the like yeah the whole of the movie. <laughs> right. <laughs> Eating too much popcorn. <sighs> yeah. I wouldn't... So that was a fun theater experience. Yeah, yeah. And then, uh, actually, after that, Sarah and I saw The Fableman. So we, we caught oh, a couple of these movies. Yeah. I, I almost saw that last, or in December, but um, I I got too late to the theater. Because um, I was going to see it while my, my, I had to drive my mom somewhere. Mm -hmm. um, but I'll, I'll probably watch it. Watch all the nominees with my dad. Um sometime this month so there are a couple here that i have not seen yeah. i think there's only one on this list though that i'm actually like still interested in seeing i don't i don't think i've even heard of the others which one are you interested in the um, all quiet on the western front oh yeah that's, that's supposed really, to be really really, really good. good yeah it's yeah. not a remake it's a remake though because yeah, i was thinking it's a, people it's were talking about it, like, oh, it must it, be it's the old put on a streaming so service um, like, yeah it's a european remake so it's a. Uh, Oh, oh, okay. Well, what do they know about war? <laughs> <laughs> what, what, what can Germans or French possibly know about war? Yeah, I, I've heard. <laughs> uh, my dad's watched um, the Banshees of Insher in, in a Sheeran. I watched and, um, that yesterday. Yeah, um, I liked Colin, it a lot. Colin, yeah, Colin Farrell is nominated for that, 
And um, I also that reminded me that Colin Farrell was in the Batman. Um, yes, he was. Because, yeah, because he was the Penguin, and like I didn't when know I look back at it. Old. Right? It's so like, like that man, was man. him. What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, that was like incredibly good, like makeup. Oh yeah, and his acting too. Like I, I was like, that's yeah. that's not Colin Farrell. I know who that is, and that's not him. <laughs> but yeah. lo and behold. Um, like I, I know, like a, a lot of our audience is interested in best animated feature, um, and for that we've we've got like uh, Guillermo del Toro's Pinocchio, Marcel the Shell with shoes on, Pussy fucking love Marcel, Fish, uh, the Sea Beast, and Turning Red. Um, this is gonna be a tough slug out for the category this year. So, do you yeah. think that it's actually gonna be a tough competition? Because who, how many people do you think are actually gonna watch all of them? It's always a wild card. With I know, right? By uh, here's the thing. I think Marcel the Shell potentially be Oscar bait, which is not a mm. slight at Marcel. Oh no, it's a fantastic movie. I love it. I think visually though, there are other categories that blow it out of the water. I think story wise, it's very sweet and effective. Um I think Pinocchio, like story wise, yeah, you know. I think it's visually solid. Pinocchio takes the cake. Oh well, yeah, it's outstanding. Yeah. But like also I Because Marcel is only partially animated anyway. I mean right. like Marcel yeah. himself is animated, but like and I, I mentioned uh, in my video I did about the the Oscar nominees for sweet. God, see, beef is lame. Yeah. Um, that uh, Guillermo oh, del Toro's Pinocchio, like it was so smart of them to put Guillermo del Toro's name in the title. Yep. Mm. Mm. Yeah, I love that guy from the Father. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Nora, yes, you should absolutely see Marcel. It's beautiful. Um, well, I mean, like. There's been such a fucking, like, grassroots, like, explosion for Puss in Boots' Last Wish. I I want it to win. I really want it to win. Yeah, Which I want it to win, too, but I don't think it will. I think Pinocchio's going to win. I'm curious. Uh, for exactly what you just said, Del Toro. Yeah, they put his name uh, in it. But, like, Puss yeah. in Boots' Last Wish, even if it loses, like, still, who gives a shit? It, it was a knockout. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. uh, just, they need to keep doing that. It, it made its yeah, mark. also the... Yeah, this is also the first year in a while we haven't had an international animated film. In Disney this. also didn't get anything up there besides well, you know, Pixar. Yeah, I was about to say Turning Red, but I guess... Yeah, yeah. But uh, Sea Beast is probably going to win this. No. <laughs> no. I think that's the weakest film on this list. It really yeah, is. Yeah, it is. Uh, sea Beast shouldn't have been there, even though I love the Sea Beast. I, like, I, I don't... <laughs> yeah, me? Um, <laughs> even though, like, I love the Sea Beast, it, it should have been something else. Like, I'm I'm very surprised that like this is the first time Cartoon Saloon has had a movie and have not have it nominated. It like, was all not a good movie. Which one? My, the Father I, and the Father's Dragon. Oh yes, I, I, I don't think it's a bad movie. It's um, not bad. It's, it's, it's not them. Oh shit! Yeah, it's 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 their it's definitely their weakest film. Yes, because well, yeah. the other ones are part of the Irish expanded universe. This one is well, like... not, not the breadwinner. The breadwinner is about like you know the Middle East. Oh, I've seen that one. I didn't realize that was them. No, that's that show with yeah. the frogs and Nickelodeon. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> that's and they're ducks. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> but, uh, no, what? Uh, no, I I saw the father's dragon, uh, and and I was like, man, this is. You saw Dragon Daddy. It's not. Um, it's not bad. It's not good. It's got bad pacing though, and I feel it's kind of dull. And all the characters are kind of dull, and you get the guy from. Uh, Stranger Things is a dragon's voice, and I thought he was a little annoying. Wait, oh, Hopper? It was. No, it was the kid with the teeth with the hair. The kid with the teeth and hair? <laughs> <laughs> Dustin? Cool. That's the one! <laughs> <laughs> you don't know exactly what I'm talking about. I did not, but I'm glad someone did. <laughs> yeah, and you got like, uh, get the guy whose voice of Tai Lung is the voice of the gorilla guy. Hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um... Yeah, if, if I, I had to replace, like, Seabees with something else, I, I said in, I said in like, my thing, My Father's Dragon, because of Cartoon Saloon. Um, but also, uh, any other, like, um, Inu O was nominated for, like, other award shows, which is, like, a, a Japanese uh, it, it, uh, film. Um, I haven't seen it yet. Uh, I still need to wait a wa way to watch it, but I've heard it's, like, really good. And then Bell, which was not nominated last year. Either. Oh, I really want to see it. Yeah, because that's technically a 2021 film, um, but it didn't uh, come out in the U.S. until 2022. This year, yeah. So it was not nominated for either year. Hmm. So. Hmm. Uh, oh, America. 
I'm I'm scrolling through the the list of all of uh, the uh, animated movies of 2022. Yeah. Uh, and, and I I have a few that I'm like, oh yeah, I'm disappointed they didn't make it. Yeah. The Chippendale yeah. Chippendale Rescue Ranger movie didn't make it. <laughs> yeah, I can't imagine why. Like, that's disappointing. Yeah. Um, the Bob's Burger movie. Seriously. It's actually like it was fun i feel like something <laughs> it's, it's, if not best animated picture I mean, even a nomination would have been nice but I, it never would have won it would have yeah been. No. i think i think no. it, i think it was better than cb exactly but i'm also what biased it, what it needed to do it was it was good for the fans all right well okay but i think we can all agree that pause of fury the legend of hank yeah that yes. should have been, <laughs> that should have been Rob, Rob. the animated version of blazing saddles <laughs> how does that not <laughs> Crypto dog, uh. crypto the super dog, crypto the currency dog. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, uh, question though, uh, Pale, you might know this. Would Mad God qualify? It should. Yeah. yeah. But man, it was a little bit. Too, no one too in the weird. Academy. Yeah, fuck. Like, Not a single yeah, member yeah, of the it's, Academy. It's, watched yeah, it's a bit. Movie. It's a bit too weird, and they're like, oh, hold on, we can only have one. Oh, wait a minute, no, they have they have two stop motion because of Marcel. Never mind. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Well, I don't believe that any of them actually saw it. So, I mean... What's, uh, yeah, when yeah. the Wild didn't get nominated? I mean, yeah. I, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, Though, I, I, I kind of understand that one, because it's like, hmm. Yeah, it should have been a series. Right? It should have been a series. It would have been a good series. Yeah. I still liked it. Uh, uh, also, I, I did want to bring up... I did want to bring up the Annie Awards a little bit, because, like, uh, I... I believe, yeah, all these are, are nominated um, at the Annie Awards. Uh, because they have, like, two different sections, like, Best Feature and Best Indie Feature. Um, but one thing I was very glad it was, uh, nominated at the Annie Awards was Prehistoric Planet, uh, nominated for Best what? Special special Production. <laughs> no bias. <laughs> yeah, no bias. <laughs> but also The House was nominated there, too, for Best Special Production. Oh, good. Like, oh, cool. There was also one, when I was looking, I was looking over these, um, uh on, on twitch and one i came across that was also on apple tv plus i don't have it anymore because like i my trial ran, ran out because I, I only got it for prehistoric planet um but uh, there's one called the boy the mole the fox and the horse oh i want to see looks, that yeah it looks beautiful it's on my radar I heard that one before. yeah same i didn't know it existed the horse, the boy, the mole, and the horse. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the horse, the boy, the mole, and the horse. The horse, the horse, the horse, and the horse. No, horse. no, you're thinking of the Ninja Turtle, the turtle, the turtle, the turtle. <laughs> the rat. The rat. Yeah. And girl. We have a turtle in here right now. Oh? Jax? Say something, Jax. Sorry, I had to plug in my old microphone. My, my last one just broke on me. <laughs> Oh, just uh, broke. like like just broke. Yeah, like this thing. This uh, I'll show you a picture. It came out when I was trying to. Uh, this sucks because I had to. I have to order a new one now for calls if I can't use this one. So I, I had to go find my like blue yeti one. But uh, where is it? Uh, this is why you don't thing. play catch with your microphones, kids. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> totally. But yeah, like this thing. Came out. Where is it? There we go. That just came out of it, and I was trying to put it in. I was like, "Oh, it's not working. It's not working." So I was like, "Oh, okay. Let me go find my blue yeti." So that's what I did. <laughs> oh, yeah. That I guess you need that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess so. <laughs> oh, well, welcome in, Jax. We're talking about Oscar movies. Mm -hmm. And uh, talking about the Annie Awards and cool. What we think. Nice. So I don't know if, if you're up. go watch Megan chat. That's really fun. I watched that twice. Yeah, I, I watched that movie. recently too. It was good. Yeah, that's so good. It's like I, small soldiers, but good. I think Sarah would have enjoyed it. She wow. didn't want to see it. <laughs> no, I, I think you would have too. So I'm... Sarah, you should see Megan. <laughs> or you should have seen Megan when I saw it. Mm. Yeah. Oh yeah. There, I just rewatched it with my mom. Marketing for that. The yeah, you're yeah. saying it was good. Oh, what? No. Well, Megan, I, yeah, I rewatched it, it, made, it with it my made mom. A lot of money. Yeah, yeah. It's the best movie of 2023. <laughs> it's, the, it's the dancing. <laughs> You're like, whoa. Yeah, this, that's, this shit's hilarious. Oh. Mm. 
but yeah, uh, any other notes in regards to the Oscars or any other movies? Um, mm-hmm. I don't think so. I know that like later when um next month when the Oscars happen, I want to try to make a video uh, asking, mm. will will an animated movie ever win Best Picture? I think event- yes, eventually. In our Where- lifetime. As long as it's not that fucking Pinocchio. When Minions shit. Rise of Groot comes out, we'll get it. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> there we go. Mm. Um. <laughs> uh, God, that derailed my my brain. Yeah. Uh, I was gonna say. <laughs> Minions Rise of Groot just leads right back to the first Minions the remake, and it's like, oh fuck you. <laughs> Oh, I, I guess that's the thing um, that, speaking of, uh, that I, I could talk about. Um, that uh, last week I went to um, the new Super Mario Land Nintendo <gasps> World at, at Universal <gasps> Studios. Wait, uh, um, I want to go so bad. <laughs> yeah, I got I got in because it was Contractor Day. We I've, yeah, I, I've I've done work on uh, all all three of the Super Mario worlds that came out um japan florida and uh which i think florida hasn't opened yet i don't even think it's no it hasn't opened it but uh and uh yeah here in hollywood so got to go sarah couldn't go because she had a work meeting and boy does which hindsight. Just that kind of sucks <laughs> in hindsight <laughs> 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 You can't go to Mario Land and need to discuss about how to fire you. <laughs> what? Oh. Yeah, Jax, you missed it. I got laid off. <laughs> oh, God, I'm so sorry. Yeah. Bluntly, oh, too. That's some bullshit. Yeah. I got laid. They hired got laid. too many people, and then they realized that they hired too many people, and they're like, oh, uh, well. Shit. Last in, first out, see you, bye. Yeah. And that's bullshit. Mm, no. Fucking big company. Or, sorry. Yeah. Stupid companies. Yeah, fuck that. You're better than that. You'll, you'll get something better. Yeah. Dean says, fuck mm. capitalism. Here she does. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, so so I I went out there um, and obviously like with, with my line of work, when whenever we're working on stuff like this, I can't talk about it until it's, it's out, it's released. So it's like, yeah, cool. Now I can be like, yeah, I worked on that. Um, it was my first time going to Universal in years like like i haven't been since jurassic worlds opened um oh, rad i haven't been since kung fu panda open like there's a whole there's, there's a, a kung fu, there's panda, a kung fu panda there it's an attraction yeah it's like a stage i feel attraction. like you probably you being like oh i haven't been there in so long is probably like for everybody else like oh my god you were just there <laughs> Well, with we you haven't know, been in like six or seven years. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's yeah, been a while. Cool. Considering considering the proximity we are. Well, I mean, to you've it. been there more recently than me because you actually had to go work on. Well, stuff. I've worked. Yeah, like yeah. like. But not in a like. Yeah, you've visiting gone to capacity. work there, but not like be there. Right. I like I I've been on like when Jurassic World. Um, when I was doing the work on that, like I had to go, to um, you know. And once everything was installed, we did a lot of like photo documentation and whatnot. So I had been there. See, we did it right. No, I want that job is awesome. Just sneaking in the back. Yeah. Like, hey. <laughs> it's funny because uh, I remember when I was photo documenting because that's what I was there for. The guy I was there with from my company was like, "Hey, be careful." And I'm like, oh, shit. "Why?" And he's like, "Well, you know, they see you taking pictures." And I'm like, "That's literally why I'm here." <laughs> like, what are you talking about? Be careful. What do you want me to do? My job or not? Um, it was just funny. Um, but yeah, uh, it was so. It was nice because since it was the contractor day that it was only open to, um, we got in on the first time slot, which was from eleven to one, and then there was a time slot one to three, and then three to five. So we got into the first one. Um, immediately once we got in there, the ride was already down. <laughs> so we're like, oh, I Love guess that. So. Yeah, we'll, we'll figure out some other stuff to do. And I was like, you know it's going to be down until 1 o'clock when they kick us all out, which wasn't the case. Um, it, it opened right back up, but we went to the, the restaurant that was there. And apparently Universal doesn't like people modifying their 
menu items to the point where like they'll just tell you no interesting um i think the only exception is if you use the word allergy is what i've heard wow yeah Um, that's what i'm gonna spam so so like like (laughs) like, because like like they have a burger with um like their mario burger comes with mushrooms and i think someone was like could i get it without the mushrooms and they said no no well, fuck you. This, this is what I heard. Nintendo, we are in Nintendo world. You're gonna eat some mushrooms. Well, it's because they're you know they're churning that stuff out. I like watched the Last line. of Us. Yeah. So <laughs> yeah, so um, no, we we ate in there. It was cool, like neat to see all the all the effects of the world. It's it's not that big of a land, um, and yeah. I think I think some like you've probably seen some of the social media posts about it from this past weekend. Yeah. Um, Crowd control is going to be a very yeah. big mm-hmm. uh, thing they're going to have to figure out with that land because right now everyone that's going to go to Universal Studios is going to want to go there, especially when half of it's like behind a paywall. <laughs> well, that yeah, yeah. It, oh, my, my understanding yeah. of it is that they have like the wristbands, and they with the wristbands you, you like you have to buy the wristbands yeah. for fifty dollars. I think that or like forty something dollars. And with like that, in addition to your park ticket, right? Yeah. And and oh, with and with that, course. you could play all the games that are around. Now I think you could quote <laughs> play the games, mm-hmm. uh, you know, without. But you get points playing the games, and you earn keys, which then unlocks another area. For contractor day, we were able to go through it, but I think it's something that they're going to be like, no, you have to unlock it. And I don't think this is like. In, when I hear this, I'm like, this isn't going to last very long. No. Like, like I, I just see way too many people being like, "Excuse me, what do you mean I can't go over here?" Yeah. I'm like, oh, you're not allowed. I don't know. It seems to be working for the Magic Band. Yeah. Um. And actually, I, I'm as I'm telling the story, I realize I have one hell of a story that comes with the story. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, yeah. So, so, anyways, so, um, to finish up with uh, Nintendo, um. It, it, it's fun. It's interesting because for those that haven't been to Universal Studios, and I'm assuming the other Universal parks are similar, compared to a place like Disneyland, um, they they rely heavily on video with their attractions. Heavily, um, like I would say, maybe seventy five percent of an attraction you're on is typically going to be video if not all video it's rare that you're going to get something like because they have the secret life of pets right in there which is all animatronic um but outside of that like the transformers ride it's a lot of it's video harry potter ride a lot of it's video that Mm -hmm. that like you know it adds to the effect um but uh i was going to say this one's interesting because there's the the mario kart ride there's a lot of physical effects but then they give you a hat that that has a screen that goes oh, in front AR of you, goggles. and and, oh. it, and you're playing Mario Kart and you're shooting turtles and things are spinning out in front of you, and we were laughing because we're like, there's a lot of really cool effects in here that people are just never gonna see, because you're like, oh, I gotta shoot the turtles, like <laughs> it's <laughs> it's it's a weird, Littles. it's an interesting uh, mesh that they went with and I, it's another one of those things where i'm like i'll be curious to see how long this is how the ride is you know like before they say well maybe we didn't need to do this aspect of it or you know it'll be curious um i think they're going to be making some adjustments uh obviously with the crowd control and all that um so as mentioned um sarah couldn't make it so i i asked my sister if she could make it um same one that just celebrated her birthday and uh, she was able to go. So I went and I asked Sarah when I went to Universal, I said, Sarah, I feel bad that you can't go. Is there anything that I can do um, that that will make you like, you know, not feel like you completely missed out? And Sarah, <laughs> what did what did you add? You had one request. Pumpkin juice. She wanted pumpkin juice. OK. Okay. She Harry want, Potter. My yeah. my girl wants pumpkin juice from Harry Potter. She can't do the butter beer because they they're like, no, you gotta have the dairy on it. Uh, also, it's gross, so you're not missing silly. out. <laughs> you know, I gotta admit, I actually really liked the butter beer. <laughs> what is butter beer? A I, Harry Potter drink? I did, but yeah. I'm I'm a huge like caramel and butterscotch person, so. Yeah. 
a bit, my understanding is it's basically butterscotch soda. Um, oh, I, I get, yeah. I mean, I, I could see where it's definitely not for everybody, but I enjoyed it. I think it's because it's exactly what I envisioned it would be, and I was like, oh, it was good. So, mm. anyways, I enjoyed it, um, and. They also have... It... <laughs> Nathaniel was, you could have asked something for the Nintendo park, but okay. And I'm like, I just want a pumpkin juice, bitch. And she just... Whatever <laughs> 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 uh... well, pumpkin juice, all right? I've, I've got what I want, and you've got what you want. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> don't mess with this with her right now um so so another thing and this was the thing so like i wanted to try the butterbeer my sister her thing was i want to get she wanted to get a donut uh they sell like giant giant donuts in the simpson area um mm. and and they they are giant and she wanted to split one with me and i said yes let's do it and then and then the last thing on my list was the pumpkin juice so the park closes at six. This was on a Thursday. Um, it, it closes at six, which is you know earlier than I'm used to at an amusement park. Mm-hmm. And uh, stuck right up on you, didn't it? My yeah. My my goal was to go on every attraction that we could. Um, Jurassic World was was closed, so that was not an option. The last one that would be uh, that that we had left to go on was the Minion Ride, and. Um, so so we we finished up our our you know second to last ride and it was about 5:20 and I'm like all right well the minion ride says it's over an hour line which means if I'm going to get Sarah's pumpkin juice I have to do it now and I called Sarah and I was like do they sell it sealed anywhere is that what you're expecting me to find and you said yes and so I asked the employees, I'm like, hey, I'm looking for sealed pumpkin juice. And I hear from three different employees because I'm like, after I heard no the first two times, I'm like, let's try one last time. And they said, we don't sell it sealed. It's a, it's an open cup. That's all we have. I'm like, oh, that's going to be a pain in the ass to get back home. On the minions mm-hmm. ride. But it was person number three who said, but in our store, we do sell a pumpkin juice like sipper cup like a souvenir cup a souvenir cup yeah. and when you buy that you get a, an automatic like it comes with a quote refill of the pumpkin juice so i said okay that works i can make mm. that happen now another part of these attractions that they have at universal is some of them have free lockers that you can use uh and and rent for free for up to two hours and because it was at this point we we had finished up eating our stuff and drinking our stuff it was 5 40 20 minutes before the park's gonna close and i'm like all right so we were in harry potter world that ride has these lockers and i'm like i don't want the minion ride to say hey you can't bring drink you have to throw that away <clears throat> so i i got i'm like chelsea my sister's name chelsea let's let's go get a locker so we do and she's like i'm kind of nervous about this and i'm like i'm like they can't do anything with this stuff like what if like i put my keys in here they can't just say oh you can't get it or i live in universal studios and i was very confident about this so we put in three items she puts in her little backpack she puts in uh her you know she it came with a box so what's left of her donut Mm -hmm. and i put in my souvenir cup with pumpkin juice i poured it in pumpkin juice sitting in there safe and sound lock it up Mm mm-hmm uh, it's 5:40. I was po- pointed that way, you know, by an employee. All's good. I did my fingerprint thing. All's good. We go on the ride and we get off it at 6:30. And we're okay. walking back, and mm. and my sister's like, I'm still nervous, and I'm like, Chelsea, I'm telling you, like, <laughs> what are they gonna do? Like, just keep ourselves locked up? Like, they have to let us get in until we turn the corner. And at the entrance of Harry Potter World is a line of, like, five or six Universal Studios employees blocking off the Mm. area. So I walk up, and they go, sorry, uh, this area is closed. And I'm like, oh, yeah, uh, I have something in the locker that I need to get out. And this dweeb on the other side (laughs) of the line goes, sir... The park closed at six. And I'm like, 
great, I'm trying to leave. <laughs> but my stuff's in the locker. <laughs> and then the girl goes, well, anything that was in the locker will have been put into a bag. Uh-huh. And brought Ooh. to guest uh, guest relations. Oh, no. And I'm oh. sitting here going, what? Because <laughs> I the reason I had faith in my plan was I'm like, but there's a line for the Harry Potter ride. Yeah. So, like... Like, everyone else had to have gotten a locker as well. Right. So, and I'm assuming there's probably still people back there. They're just trying to keep anyone new from going in. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, I'm like, how, mm-hmm. do, how do they even know my stuff? So, I'm like... Uh, okay. So so then we walk to guest relations. Now, mind you, guest relations is all the way at the front of the park. We're near the uh-huh. back. And I'm like, I'm walking, and this whole time I'm just like, there's two bad things that just happened. <laughs> not only, not only did they put a cup, a souvenir cup full of pumpkin juice, which doesn't seal, by the way. Oh. It's just, it's just more of a cup, but it's like, it's got a straw and all that. And I'm like... A, Sarah's pumpkin juice is going to be in a bag. <laughs> B, all of Chelsea's stuff, including a nice camera that she had in her backpack, is going to be covered in this pumpkin juice. Oh, no. And I'm like, this is not good. And I'm like, I was so confident, and I'm paying for it. Yeah. So we get to guest relations, and I, 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 I go up to the front. There's no one else in there, and I say, hi. Uh... We had stuff that was in the lockers at Harry Potter World, and they've informed me that all that stuff's going to be brought here. And the guy tells me, uh, his, his name's Harper, and he says, um, yeah, that stuff's not here yet, uh, but if you just sit tight, that'll be here. And I'm just like, okay. And I'm just like, <laughs> and I'm, I'm just sitting here baffled at, at, at this idea that they have now now at this point and i i i made it like well not yet did i make it clear but i was like in my head i'm thinking why didn't anyone warn me there were employees that saw me going in 20 minutes before that were like didn't say by the way these lockers are going to lock up or close or whatever there, so and like there, you need to have your stuff out of here by a certain time. Right, right. Or have a sign, even. Uh, yeah, and I'm sure, I bet you there's a sign with the smallest print pointing this out, maybe. But when I got the locker, again, at 540, it never, there was no, nothing on the screen saying, by the way, you know, make sure to get your stuff. It just says, your stuff is now safe for two hours. Mm-hmm. That's okay. all it says. So th- this girl uh, who was also there with Harper goes to the back, checks, nothing. We wait another 10 minutes or so. Um, and she's like, hmm, I wonder if that stuff's here. She goes back. And then she comes out with a, a plastic bag. And I'm oh, like, no. oh, boy, it's moment of truth time. <laughs> and the first thing she pulls out is the donut box. Oh. And I'm looking at this donut box, and I'm like, Okay. <laughs> It doesn't look like it's covered in pumpkin juice. <laughs> so there's hope. I'm like, there's hope here. We're, I think we're good so far. And then she pulls out the backpack. And I'm like, oh, God. And I'm looking at the backpack. And I'm like, oh, they, they did it. There's no pumpkin juice on this thing. I'm like, did they, yeah. did they very carefully place this cup in the bag? Uh, I'm guessing there's a slightly more sinister answer involved here. <laughs> and then she crinkles up the bag <laughs> and says, there you go. And I and I, I I turn in to I, I was like, you never want to transition into like Karen mode, right? But I'm like, this is there's no way to avoid what I'm about to say. And I hold up my finger you know, pause button, and I say, Um, that's not everything. <laughs> and th- you know, they're like, uh what else was in here? Or what, what else was in the locker? And I say, there's a souvenir cup with pumpkin juice inside of it. And I said, and that's a very critical detail. <clears throat> the lady goes back into the room. Mm. And I don't know if she's just fucking with me or what. She comes through the door holding the souvenir cup. And I'm like, thank God. And I'm like, why wasn't this in the bag? They probably assume no one wanted it. But is that their call to make? She walks up, and I see the expression on her face. And she goes, so the cup is here. 
but there's no pumpkin Ooh. juice inside. Yeah. Oh god. And I hold up my index finger again, hit the pause button, uh. and I go, I cannot leave here <laughs> without pumpkin juice. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, and I and I'm like, I know just how ridiculous this sounds, but I promised my wife that I was gonna come home mm. with a cup of pumpkin juice, and by God, I am not leaving here without one. The moral of the story is I should have asked for something from Super Nintendo World. <laughs> no, no, the moral of the story is you done did exactly right. This is a great and, story. And I'm just like, oh no! Um, and I'm thinking, you know, there's no hope. At this point, I'm like, I'm curious to see how they're gonna fix this issue. And, and so they're like, well, here's what we could do. We could give a call to the restaurant and <laughs> see. And now, I, at this point, it's like 640, you know? Uh-huh. Like, like the restaurant's been closed for oh. at best 40 minutes, if not more. And they're like, we'll give them a call and, and just see. We'll just see. And at this point, I'm like, oh, my God, Sarah's not going to have pumpkin juice. And I bought the souvenir cup for nothing. <laughs> yep. Um. And, and so they call, and then, you know, the guy tries to keep... I'm still the only one in there, by the way. Um, and and the guy's trying to strike up conversation with me and, you know, just ask, hello, how was the rest of your day and whatnot. Uh, and, and to his credit, uh, to Harper's credit, um, handled me very well. Um, and I wasn't like, like, you know, I'm not going to come in here like i know that my best chance and and i want everyone to know this maybe some people don't learn this your best chance of success when you're in this kind of situation is to not be an asshole Mm -hmm. (laughs) like if you're if you're actually being cool like they're actually maybe gonna take an extra step to see if they can help you out like it might not work out but don't like don't resort to being an asshole so, mm-hmm. no, so squeaky wheel may get the grease, but if you're nice, they actually like you and they'll go the extra mile. So, so I'm sitting here and, and I told the guy, I'm like, my frustration in this, you know, I explained is that there were no warnings about this and that, you know, I bought this, this cup for one sole reason. It was the pumpkin juice. And I was, <laughs> I was kind of like, you know, like already thinking like when they don't get this pumpkin juice, what's going to be the resolve, you know, mm-hmm. and, and what's going to be my story to sarah (laughs) right and then 15 minutes go by and i look behind me and i see walking through the door a a universal studios employee (laughs) who had just walked all the way from harry potter world with an open cup of pumpkin juice (laughs) (laughs) And I'm holy like, holy, that's what I said. I was like, holy shit, this actually worked. <laughs> I I couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe it. I was like, and I'm just like, I can't even begin to get into the mind of this guy who was called up and said, you need to walk a cup of pumpkin juice <laughs> to the front of, of the fucking park. I, and I told them, I was like, I, I'm like, I can't thank you guys enough. I know. And I said this multiple times to them. I'm like, I know how stupid stupid this sounds how i'm like i know that i am being that person right now but i'm like you have to understand my wife's gotta have her pumpkin juice and and by god did i bring it home a cup of pumpkin juice for sarah so what happened is when he brought it home he hid it he hid it in the fridge first because i had to come downstairs and then he proceeded to tell me this whole entire story and i'm like the entire time i'm like okay i'm not getting my pumpkin juice and then he pulls it it out of the fridge and i'm like yay how was it it was good and then she tastes it and it's like that episode of curry's a carry log i hate pumpkin juice (laughs) (laughs) you gotta do uh, diet dog Dr. Dr. Kelp? Yeah, right. Dr. My diet, Dr. Kelp? Mm. <laughs> you can't have my pumpkin drink without my pizza. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, it was, I, I, I had to give, I had to give props. I was like, you know, there was a, there was an issue that came up. They acknowledged that, yeah. that, you know, I wasn't necessarily the one in the wrong mm-hmm. here. Like, they were, they were probably like, well, you did fuck up. Yeah. But, but so did we. But yeah, like like you're not absolved of your fucking up. Or no, I was absolved of it. But well, also you're not being a dick about it, you know. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah. Which I, I and that's the thing, is like again, like even if this didn't work out, 
like I was going to be disappointed, but but I also was like, I can only go so far. And somebody made this policy, and it probably wasn't the people sitting at the desk yeah. that yeah. I'm talking to. And I get that. Um, but I also, you know, it's also worth complaining about something like this because as Harper made the point, he's like, I want to I want to take down, you know, the details of this. So it's something that we can try to prevent it happening in the future. And I told him, yeah. I said, I said, you know, my solution to this is just when I if somebody checks out, you know, the uh, this locker that tells you you have two hours and you're good. Mm-hmm. Like if they check it out you know within two hours of the park closing maybe just have a message that pops up saying you know at six o'clock this part this is going to be cleared out so or take one person from that wall of people and walk you over to the locker Mm -hmm. yeah yeah Yeah. right red rover red rover and then walk you back apparently i'm the only person who thought to do this because i never saw anyone else come in there no, they all knew the park closed at six. They got their stuff and got out. Because that guy that was standing in front of there said, "Sir, <laughs> ma'am." So uh, Nathaniel Foga sends a super chat saying, "This pumpkin juice must be pretty good for the lengths you had to go through for it." Uh, it was good. It, well, it's it at that point for Jeffrey. I don't think it was about the pumpkin juice. It was about disappointing right, his right. wife. <laughs> Yeah. Right. <laughs> no, it was the principle, and I'm very. I mean, Saber's seen this firsthand, where it's like the principle of the. In fact, most of you have seen this firsthand, if not all yeah. of you. I would have. I would have been okay if he did not get yeah. the pumpkin. Juice. Yeah, I didn't care how good the pumpkin juice was. I just was like, the one time you're actually really pissed off. You're know, like, I just, Jeffrey, I really needed this, and you failed. <laughs> right. <laughs> Bowden Motorsports uh, sends a super chat saying, "Here, Sarah, have a <laughs> have a pumpkin juice refill on me. Thank you, Bowden." Aww. What What was that, Saber? I'm gonna go kill a rabbit now. Uh, oh, oh, Jesus! I Sarah, take you my souvenir cup. Lola, get a refill. Yes. You do. You do have your souvenir cup, and now Who's now Bowden has a slide. Judy, Judas, <laughs> Ju- Judas. <laughs> Wait, Bowden. Uh. So, yeah. <laughs> I almost forgot to tell that story because I think I shared it. I saw Elwyn saying that she had already heard this. So I must, I think it I shared on the this. I racing. Yeah, when I was I racing. With Ready which, uh, Player for, Dom. for anyone interested, I, I think we're going to be I racing tonight. So, <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, so, anyways, that 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 was my, my big uh, story. story of yeah. the week. Yeah. That was beautiful. We almost forgot about okay. it. I almost forgot about it, yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> like that would have been a, a very sad story to, to have forgotten to share yeah. with everybody. I mean, but, I feel like my life's been enriched just by knowing. <laughs> it. Thank you, thank you. Yeah. Sarah's, Sarah's life was enriched. Yeah, with pumpkin. By pumpkin juice. juice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really glad now, given that you know you've had kind of a rough week. I'm glad that I didn't make it rougher by having you have a previous rough week. No, but uh, if you do watch the playback on that Ready Player Dumb stream, I don't know if it's still up on Twitch, but like every time someone redeemed Hydrate, I was playing a, a Disney game behind Jeffrey, and every single time someone redeemed Hydrate, I put up my glass of pumpkin juice and took a sip. Hell yeah. yeah. This, is, this is the first I've known of this. I didn't know you did that. Yeah. Sometimes I like to do things secretly in the background. Yeah. When I'm there. When you're there. When I'm there. Uh, well, nice. Shall we uh, jump into Q&A? Uh, yeah. How do people submit questions, Sarah? Uh, they submit it by going over to Twitter or either using the Super Chat feature here on YouTube. I'm trying to pull up the Twitter socials. Do you see the social media? No. Scroll down. <laughs> okay. Wow. Well, just go over to Twitter and use hashtag SPP questions. Uh, it, or, as I said, uh, the super chats. I don't, I don't see this thing that you think exists. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe I got rid of it accidentally. Yeah, let me you left it in the locker too long. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> it's in guest relations. <laughs> Sir, the park closed at six. Or maybe it was one of the other Sarahs that saw it. Well, there it is. You did find it. See, there was the other Sarah. It's a good thing. They complete each other. 
All right. So, yep. Uh, if you'd like a uh, prioritized question, send it through Super Chat. Otherwise, we will be taking questions from Twitter uh, over the next about 20 minutes. Ish. Ish. All right. Let's see what we got on the Twitter space. Do you want to sit? Yeah. You look uncomfortable. Eh. You look like you're ready to run away. <laughs> Too much talk about pumpkin juice. Ozzy All asks, now that we're into 2023, what animation movie slash shows are you looking forward to this year? Well, I recently heard that Phineas and Ferb is about to be uh, renewed. Yeah, they're having another season. In uh, Two seasons, actually. 40 episodes have been greenlit. 4-0. Oh, 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 yeah. (laughs) And Dan Povemeyer's back on the game. Mm -hmm. Um... I'm hoping they can hit on the same beats. If they can, that'll be great. Yeah. Yeah, that should be Show, good. Shows and movies? Like shows yeah. you're waiting for that are anime? Like does anime count? You sure. sure. Yeah. Yeah, okay. There's a show called Mashal that I'm super excited for. It's basically like this. It's basically like One Punch Man with wizards. Like it's about this like Ooh. guy who's One Spell Man. Like, I'm in. Yeah. Let's go. Yeah, it's basically like this guy, and he's like the only one born in this world of like wizards who doesn't have like magic powers. So all he does is fucking lift. And so like because he just fucking lifts, <laughs> oh my he God. like fucking Dang. is like so much stronger than all them because they're like fucking nerds who just use their wands and shit like that. And <laughs> That's like, hilarious. The and so I'm just like, oh God. And then like the dude, he's just, the dude's like name is like Mash, and he looks like fucking like rock lee with like a like a scar in a bit of way it's like the, the way you for scry like I, I found the manga like a couple years ago so it's finally getting an anime this year and so like when i first found it, i was like oh this is like fucking rock lee rock it's like the rock lee harry potter series everyone called it, or this one punch man harry potter series so <laughs> i'm very excited for that when that comes out because i love the manga for it yeah mm. uh, mash. i'm surprised you didn't say across the spider-verse Oh, it's across the Spider Verse, yeah. Hopefully, oh, yeah. it's good, very mm-hmm. good. Yeah. Oh yeah. If it's good, then I can watch it more times and race. Oh yeah, there's Tokyo. also the turtle. <laughs> this year too. Yeah, they look Damn. like freaking. Why do they have braces? I did. That's one that <laughs> I like. Teenagers. I, yeah, but like, who gave them braces? I think only like, one. Like Donatello braces. doesn't know braces. That's not part of the lore, no. Sarah. If you read the con- <laughs> okay. <laughs> A turtle dentist. <laughs> Uh, the turtle dot. The turtle dot uh, Um, yeah. I mean, has nobody Dantatello. said the obvious? What? Mario! Mario! Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm very excited for it. <laughs> now you die. Bam! <laughs> <laughs> Let's that, go that, that to could the be Mushroom Kingdom! Uh, mushroom Kingdom! Here we come! Yeah. come. <laughs> <laughs> mushroom Kingdom, here we come! <laughs> Oh, one other thing I saw. There's an old webcomic called Lackadaisy, and I think it's getting an oh, animated yeah. short coming out. Yeah. Mm. yeah I'd love for it to be a full thing, but so hey, I'll all, take a short. All I know is that Zootopia is probably not going to come out this year. Zootopia 2, that is. Um, but I, I or have, Zootopia Plus? I have heard that, uh, that I guess Disney hasn't announced what their 2024 movie is going to be. Yeah. So, yeah, they haven't. There's hope. Mm. Maybe, maybe yeah. a D23 this year they'll uh, say something. Mm-hmm. Mm. So yeah. And also it's 2023, so it's like oh D23 on 2023. In 23. Mm-hmm. Sarah had me. Uh, and it's she... a, their hundredth anniversary this year. Yes, it is. Mm. Oh. We're about to announce Chicken Little Two. <laughs> it's funny because yeah! it's funny because like <laughs> in a couple of mu- in a couple of months. Like it's Warner Brothers 100th anniversary. Mm. Well, well, right. yeah, but you have to consider that uh, Chicken Little Two is going to be live action. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> finally, the gritty live action movie we deserve. Well, I asked Sarah. I said, "Do you ever think they're going to make a live action version of Great Mouse Detective?" And she said, "No, because it wasn't popular." And I was like, "No, no because I, it's Sherlock I, Holmes." <laughs> I'm so happy that I love Great Mouse Detective, but I don't yeah. think it was popular enough for them to do it. I'm so yeah. glad that they're running out of fucking things to read. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. yeah. th- there was there was something. Okay, I- I'm gonna actually bring up a hot take. All right. Do it. Um, salty. Kadam, is that? I mean, what are you I, saying? I, I'm not is trying salty? to say. Salty said that he. And I love the guy. I think he's a very sweet, nice guy. Salty, sweet. Bless his heart. I'm not trying to help you. 
That's what you say to people. Bless his heart. Bless his heart. God bless his heart. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, he's sweet. I've met him before at one more But he, uh, he says something about how he's like, uh, you know, because I think it goes in reference to the One Piece. The One Piece! It's real! <laughs> how uh, <laughs> how uh, he's like, live action stuff, you know, if anything, it, it at worst, it's bad. At, at best, it brings in people, you know, and something like that. I guess being very forgiving of and I'm like, eh, I don't know. My issue is more oppressive. Because if you reward bad behavior, then you kind of remove potential good behavior. Because why challenge the status quo if it works so well? Yes. So that's just yeah. my opinion. But I'm like, thank God for Disney. They're running out of ammo. Because now they're like, well, shit, now we have to actually think about something to remake. It's not just served up to us on a silver platter. Oh, you yeah. you know they're going to start doing the 3D movies. Like, well, Frozen well I mean, Frozen's and... definitely getting a live action remake. Oh, yeah. <gasps> Zootopia! <It's laughs> Zootopia! Yeah. Oh my Just god, you're yard, right? <laughs> I hate so that's scary. I hate that. Um, or I was I was more concerned if they did sequels. Um, I know they're doing the Lion King prequel. <laughs> Yeah, kill yeah, me. Yeah, they're done Lion, King, Lion King one. Yeah, it's weird. I would like I to just that die. Everything's going to be AI generated. And just oh. the first ideas. That whole the nuclear reactor goes off, and then everyone shoots off their missiles, and, just, and we're all just dead. That that, pl <laughs> that Saber Spark Pollock line was brought to you by AI. <laughs> Isn't that Terminator 3? <laughs> um, no, I. I, I uh... well, that's what the AI script was trained on. I feel like the, the, I feel so bad for art, just artists in general, where it's like from like, what was it? NFTs to AI generated stuff to, you know, just soulless remakes. To and, AI generated and, NFTs. And then also to, to your art, department it, being made redundant, you being fired. Well, it's also the industry that never took care of them to begin with. And a lot of the outsource stuff is basically like, you know, pennies uh, for these workers. Yeah. It's, just, <laughs> it's a very thankless industry and it, it pisses me off and there needs to be more, like, just accountability. But of course, I'm just saying a bunch of shit and I'm whatever. I just I, I just feel bad for artists. And, and the one bastion, the one fucking bastion, it's like Helm is Deep, where you have like... <laughs> This hit this is all you can summon Saruman, and it's like the giant wall is just porn, and it's like hey, I just yeah. porn blows it up, and it's like no. That's <laughs> 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 the, sure the one thing I thought was immune, and then AI generated porn, which is still you know not perfect, but it's dangerous because it's, it's going to learn quickly, and it's like you can't. You took our porn, and that's when we lost the fight. Humanity failed that day. <laughs> The one thing we thought we this, had. This, that's going to be like the, what, the last renaissance or whatever. <laughs> right, the last animation. renaissance! <laughs> <laughs> All the AI-generated machines are writing to kill humanity. <laughs> oh, man. I, I hate that humanity is going to end in the most, like, lame way possible. Yes, because we suck. Because, like, you got, like, the last renaissance and all these other apocalyptic films. Mad Max seems pretty cool. Humanity, we're going to do stupid. Where it's going to be like... Oh, that wasn't fun. <laughs> It'll really just be that fucking Futurama episode where they start fucking robots and yes. go to fucking extinction. Oh, yeah. <laughs> like... oh yeah, that, that's coming back this year, too. Yeah, yeah, there you yeah, go. Devil's getting a reboot. Oh, I thought we were talking about robot fucking. <laughs> yeah. The good stuff. Hey, man, I want to watch the second Renaissance now. <laughs> well, El Elwyn sends a... Uh, it's not a question per se, but it is... Uh, she is sharing... Uh, part two of nine of uh, what I think of when I think of the semi-perfect podcast hosts and it's my my Ooh. painting I think she did Aww. Jeffrey's before yep and, yeah. and it's got some I iconography oh got the Felix oh, Hammer pertaining to me Rangers oh. nice <laughs> yeah yeah thank you mm. it's awesome very Love very it. cool Thank you, Ellen. Mm. Oh, Sarah's commenting. Love Ooh. it. Boost that algorithm. Love it. Love All right. It. Let's see. L-U-F-F. Love. What other questions are out there on the Let's interstate? See. Let me see if we got any super chats. No, we have not. Super chat, people. On Come on. Interstate. Um, let's see. Nathaniel Foga asks, what are your guys' favorite, uh, funniest convention stories from recent memory? 
funniest convention stories recently. Oh, yeah, oh, it was really funny when Race had his fl flight delayed for like two days. <laughs> <laughs> like a day. I guess we have different definitions of funny. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> yeah, that did really suck. Uh, I, uh, or, or the time where we waited six hours for one order of pizza. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> In my fucking mind. That was... Fuck that. Oh, you just reminded me. Oh, I was getting mad that night. Oh, I was pacing. Yeah. I had to leave. <laughs> I had to go walk. Why clear my head. <laughs> this year, let's go to the place and get the pizza. Yeah. Yeah. Niggas, fuck that. Oh, yeah. And then the kid who fell in buses. That was fun. That was drunk. So I was yeah, laughing at it. That was a few years ago. <laughs> so Stupid funny. kid. Uh, when I just had a couple of random blackberries in my hand in the middle of a Best Buy that I'd picked off a bush and metacable <laughs> without any hesitation, all, eight one went offered. <laughs> yeah, just no uh, issue, no zero shits given. Yeah. Blackberry. Well, to be fair, when Matt was picking those blackberries, he did make the comment, "I must pick from above the waist." Yeah. Yes. <laughs> above the pee line. <laughs> yeah. Above the pee line. <laughs> <laughs> Like oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a success too. Cause that's I I forgot my uh yeah. my my laptop charger, and so that's why we ended up at the Best Buy. Yeah. And now I have two. I s still want to bring back cutting from one of those blackberry plants. <laughs> I'm sure I could buy one in the stores, but it'd be so much nicer just to have a local one that you stole, that acquired. You stole. Please do it. Mm -hmm. Um, he foraged it. I mean, exactly. Sure. <laughs> Nature provided. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, Sarah, what about you? You have any funny ones? Uh, I think it was pretty funny when we were bringing all of the like Who's Line props. I think that was ever free. It was. Yeah, yeah it was. <laughs> like just shovels and other random shit. Chainsaw. Just, like, Chainsaw. <laughs> down the elevator through the lobby of the hotel. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we asked uh, DB to. We we're like, hey, can you just bring like whatever you can, mm -hmm. you know, okay. for props. And he brought his, like, most of his fucking gardening equipment. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like, he must have cleared out his shed. Yeah. I'm half surprised he didn't bring a chicken. Well, I mean, he did bring the pig statue. He which did. managed to bring in a boatload at the charity auction. Yep. <laughs> but that, that, that did happen. Oh, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. So, Yeah. There's a lot. There's a lot of little things like that. There's a lot of <laughs> funny moments, yeah. big ones and small yeah. ones. Uh, Waddles. Oh, actually, hold on. Let me see if there's been a super chat. Oh, okay. Um, Waddles on Twitter. Hey, hey hero, hero. What's the funniest Hello. convention memory you can think of? No pressure. All right. Like, I'm just gonna throw you right in. Right yeah. in. Yeah. Uh, Here. Uh, or whatever just came to your mind. Yeah. Just whatever came to my mind. Yeah. Uh, it's, this is such a lame one, but it is funny for me, and no one else is going to get it because we have to be there. But, like, Saber was eating a cookie on the bed in the hotel room. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> we were talking about food, and, and uh, people were like, well, I think I was like, I'm not even really that hungry. And Sam was like, oh, we need to work. Well, like, we're just chopping off the That's pretty much, yeah, typical me. <laughs> like, mouthful and everything. You know, you don't have to be hungry to still want to see uh, 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 Waddles has a question for Saber Spark. How do you feel about King of the Hill getting a revival on Hulu since it's your favorite animated series of all time? My favorite Emmy series of all time? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's what Waddle says. I know it's one of them. It is one of them. I'll give him that. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like the corporate landscape right now of reboots doesn't really give me too much faith because I feel like there's just those, the people who hold the coin purse still want to do this shit on a budget. And there's just something about in the 90s that had a lot of fucking effort. And I'm not saying that effort isn't seen right now. Because you still have shows like Arcane or, you know, I like Vox Machina. We gotta watch the second season. I know, we haven't started yet. Um, I just started to watch that. But, uh, 
I my faith comes from the fact that both Mike Judge and Greg Greg Daniels are involved. Greg is a fucking phenomenal writer, and that's the most important thing to me is the writing. The um, real question is, will they be able to get Chuck Mangione back? <laughs> uh, yeah, I, so. no, I, I bet he will show up because it's like the, the finale for King of the Hill wasn't very grand, but it didn't have to be. It, that, that never was the point. It was no, a slice I feel of like it shouldn't be of a Texan right home. That's it. And uh, if it was very sudden, sure, but it was still kind of like okay, this is they're playing it pretty grounded. That's fine. Um, I hope that they don't erode that away because like the show, I feel like there's a little bit of a time capsule now where it's like it's done. Because uh, you got Tom Petty's dead. He was the voice of Lucky. Uh, yeah, Luann's dead. Luann's yeah. voice actor. Oh, I'm not wow. sure how much. I'm Skip. I think my only my my biggest concern, and again, I put a lot of faith in Greg Daniels that he's a good writer versus shit. Like he's a fucking amazing writer. But um, if they do a time skip, I feel like audiences today, because I mean, King of the Hill was always great about like Bobby on his Game Boy and Hank being like that boy ain't right or. Hey, Dad, look at me. I'm dancing at a concert. I'm grinding my butt against the girl, you know, with the, with the boy band stuff. And he's like, whoa. So, like, there has always been that, like, that separation of generations, especially with Hank being very macho and, and just kind of, like, emotionally unavailable. And then Bobby being, you know, a nerd who explores and, and likes to take bold leaps into very unorthodox thing. And that's the relationship that they have. That, that's the great energy and friction. I don't know how that's going to play out if it is a time skip, but Bobby's on TikTok and he's still a kid. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That I wouldn't like that. I that would be mo- yeah. I would uh, like there be, to be like a time skip to where like Bobby's now a dad or something. I want that. I want that. I also want the same thing for Goofy Movie, where I want Max. To, <laughs> I want, I'm just throwing it out there. But um, let 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 it be a full on time skip. Let, I, I just don't want. Because people, people are like, oh, Dale will probably be part of QAnon. I'm like, no, he wouldn't. They're, the show's smarter than that. Um, I think Bill would be falling for stupid online scams left and right. And I'm oh, sure please. Crowd would be like, no, in a tease. Some stupid like that. <laughs> Bill, you idiot. The money. Hey, you <laughs> idiot. Hey, I already made it. Oh, you fucking dummy. Yeah, man, I'll tell you what, man, dang old AR, man, like, dang old boobs. Are... <laughs> <laughs> we can make that work. As, but the, the show needs to make sure, it, and this show's always been good about this. You can tilt, tip your hat to the recent events and the trendy shit, but you need that that common denominator of, of, of the character. Like, okay, what's the conflict here? Is there going to be maybe Bobby having a kid who doesn't get him, but he gets Hank? That'd be interesting. I actually think I would love that. Because then you can have Bobby being like, Dad, how'd you do it when I was growing up? And then Hank being like, well, I'll teach you. Like, that, there's, there needs to be that. Yeah, that, 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 would, that would do really well, because, like, Hank never never had that relationship with Cotton. So, no, because Cotton fucking yeah. sucked. <laughs> so, I, I feel that they, there's a good story you can tell there, as long as you don't fall back too hard on recent events and, like, hey, computers, right? Mm-hmm. Uh, and I have faith in Mike and Greg to do better than that. I feel they have to know better. That it's it's all about it's all about like the characters with Higgins. It's Higgins about Higgins. the characters. It's about what makes them them and the relationships they have. So it's always been more than the sum of of trendy events because the show's done that before. Where it's like Christian rock, you know, that was a thing back in the early two thousands, and they worked with that. But it's always about Bobby and Hank. You know, that's that's always yeah. been the relationship. So I have faith. Sorry, ran over. No, that's a good insight. Uh, Sarah, do you have another question? Uh, yeah, this one's also from Waddles, uh, saying, Today is the 15th anniversary of Phineas and Ferb, and I wanted uh, to well, know what is your favorite weird. episode or moment from the show, and are you curious to see more <laughs> of the revival of the series? Well, yes, I'm favorite curious to see more. moments from Phineas and Ferb. I always there's really, a lot of moments. Yeah, there's a lot of them. But I, I feel like I always enjoyed um, particularly the one where Doofenshmirtz captures uh, Perry the Platypus by societal convention. By yes. Oh, my God. That's great. That's great. <laughs> that, yeah. Don't make a scene. 
<laughs> also, like, fucking, like, Doofenshmirtz just, like, having, like, really effed up childhood. Like, his yeah. fucking yeah. parents kept him as a fucking gnome. Uh, yeah. <laughs> they they weren't there for my birth. They didn't even show up. <laughs> so evil. <laughs> Poor man. <laughs> I I, th I think I lo I think I enjoyed the episode where they got love handled back together again yeah. for their parents' oh, anniversary. Yeah. Mm. No and just you know rhythm. exactly. Yeah, dude. If I can find my old leather, dude, we're getting the band back together. Yeah, the music was always pretty great in Finney's mm -hmm. Right, and that's what I think I loved most about the show. Like for as much riff on a theme as it was. You know, every episode followed a very similar pattern, but it felt original each time, and the amount of effort and depth they put into it. Mm -hmm. I, I just the amount it. of bricks they laid, they called back to, and just the great show for the depth. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I, I struggled to remember specifics as far as, like, episodes <clears throat> or, or even scenes, but I just, I just know it's just, I mean, the highlights of Doofenshmirtz and yeah. every freaking thing that yeah. comes out of that guy's <laughs> mouth. Yeah. Uh, and and I love his, I love his. Oh, watch it so long. Uh, I've never watched that, and I never watched Ben Ten. I heard. Oh my god, Ben Ten's actually kind of good. I just I love the relationship between Perry and Doofenshmirtz, yeah. where it's like it's like this like almost like, like they're bros. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> but yeah, no, I look forward to what's coming out. Was that yeah. was that the last question? I think. All right, I'm gonna th I'm gonna throw one in here because I see it. Yeah. Ozzy all wants to know who has the better chicken sandwich, Chick Fil A or Popeyes? Popeyes. Popeyes. It's like Popeyes by far. Actually. Chick Fil A is like that like nice white lady who went to like Kentucky <laughs> and learned to like <laughs> learn some stuff. And then like Popeyes <laughs> is like you, that you go over to your like aunt's house, your black aunt's house. Yeah. Wait, what if you all racist about fried house, chicken? Like, and it's just like, who cares about blood pressure? That's in the Lord's hands. And, then you enjoy it. and it's just that good. So yeah, Popeyes slaps. Yeah. There Fair you. enough. <laughs> I, I may have to try Popeyes tomorrow. Yes, it's, do it. I think it's a bigger sandwich, too. Yeah. It is. So, yeah. So, I'll go hungry then. Actually. Well, that's, that disappointed me. I went to Chick-fil-A uh, when I was in Georgia, as is tradition. And yeah. after burning a gay flag, I got a chicken sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> No, I um, you have I all traditions. A, and I know a, a lot of companies are doing this. It's real bullshit. They're shrinking their portions while raising their price. Yeah. Uh, candy bars have been doing this way too much. And I look at Chick Fil A. I'm like, oh, <laughs> listen, all right. What's that quote? <laughs> I can forgive sex or being homophobic, but I cross the cross the line when you shrink my chicken sandwich or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Anywhere it's like I can forgive racism and she's like, You can forgive yeah. racism? Yeah. 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 Forgive yeah. racism from community. Yeah, but, yeah that was a good No yeah. but um, no, but like honestly, it's like you play, I thought you were supposed to be like cool with the like customer service and shit. And they shrink in the chicken strips and the chicken sandwiches and it's like, well But they'll still serve them to you. Yeah, of course they will, because they're taking your money. My pleasure. So, it's yes. um, yeah, my pleasure. No, I, I was surprised. Uh, I, Zaxby's is doing the same. A lot of restaurants do the same thing. I hate it. I hate that we let them do this to us. So, <laughs> well, pay more for your food then. You know what? No. <laughs> it's, it's, How about I just have food? They at will home. bring you more. Are going up. They, they will bring you more food if you give them more money. No. <laughs> the, the king size Reese cups are like normie sized Reese cups back in like the early 2000s. Like shit you not. Reese? Next time you look at the candy, like just go check out section, look at the candy bars and realize that your friends have been taken away. Uh, wait, is that what Georgians call Reese's? No. Oh, Reese's? Reese's. No, I'm, I'm, I'm just having an aneurysm. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, well, uh, on that aneurysm, uh, he's we going wanna, into a Reese uh, with rolls. <laughs> we want to thank you all for coming out to the Semi Perfect Podcast. Hope you had fun. We'll be back in two weeks. Uh, that'll be February fifteenth. This is that Val Wait, no, that so after, after, after the day after. Oh yeah. shit! Uh, so yeah, we'll we'll see how everyone. <laughs> Show us your Valentine hauls <laughs> on our next episode. Jax, are you going to make another video? Somebody was asking I about hope the not. Here. I hope not. <laughs> it's been <laughs> 10 years. Leave, leave me alone. Okay. Just hire like 10 hookers. You, you, you got to make it a decade. 
Oh, and so... We it's... just gotta make it through Groundhog Day tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we'll be back in two weeks. Want to say a big thank you. <laughs> I'm sorry. How morbid would it be if it's like 10 years later and they're like, oh, no, what Jax is doing for his his Valentine's video. It's just you hanging from the ceiling with your feet. Oh, <laughs> wow. Like, wow. Because so I'm black forget. during Black History oh. Month. Cancel. Cancel. <laughs> It's recorded on stream. That's a joke, stream. I'm I can so say sorry. that. It's okay. <gasps> Thank uh, you to our super chatters. <laughs> Thank you, Bowden Motorsports, Nathaniel Foga, Anime Guy 01, Omega 217, Quiet <laughs> Storm. I'm destroying the podcast. Uh, <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you all for your generosity. Thank you to our podcasters, I guess. And uh, thank you to all of you for joining us. We'll see you next time on the Semi Perfect Podcast. Good night, everybody. Damn ponies.